What's up guys, Cheese here, and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. How's everybody doing today? I'm having a great day today, and on today's episode, we're going to talk about one of the most intimidating things you can see in Ark. That's right. No, I'm not talking about my bulge. I'm talking about what you see behind me, the ocean. That's right. A lot of people are afraid to go into the ocean. A lot of people are scared of what they might find down there, afraid to get into that. So we're going to start showing you how to slowly ease our way into the ocean. We're going to try to get an ocean tame today. I think I'm going to go for a Megalodon and try to start getting you guys to ease your way into the ocean. I don't recommend immediately diving down deep in the ocean. There's a lot of bad stuff down there. You got to watch out for jellies and Moses and a lot of things, but we're going to ease you guys. We're going to get you guys through it and we're going to have a lot of fun as well. So if you guys like this video, please do me a huge favor and flex on that like button. Yeah. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. Okay. So uh, before I leave today, I'm going to show you what I have with me. I have some cryopods. I have uh, the best crossbow I could find uh, so far this season. It's a 167 damage, which is pretty good, journeyman. I made up 150 trank arrows. I went on to dodo decks and learned that megalodons prefer superior kibble. So I made up, or I actually just grabbed, I made up a bunch of all the different kinds of kibble. But I grabbed 100 superior kibble. That'll be way more than enough. And I did grab a couple of behemoth gates and doorways uh, or behemoth gateways and gates just in case we end up in a position where we could possibly trap a megalodon. Um, so taming a megalodon, the way I like to do it is I like to do it close to the shore. So I'm not, as you notice, I'm not even bringing any scuba with me or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to try to bring one close to the shore. Like what's that guy over there? 24. Terrible. Um, so if you look around... I don't do this through the water. I like to fly around. So I'm going to grab my RG and fly around. And now it'd be great if there was one in the bay here. Uh, I checked before I started recording and there wasn't. Because the biggest problem with this method is when they start to get too high torpor, uh, they run away. And we're seeing a bunch of things right here, actually. So you may ask yourself, self, why doesn't Cheese want to tame one of these uh, dolphins right here? Well, because they're terrible, essentially. I mean, they can't fight. They have super low health. The only really good thing they're good for is if you pump like a zillion speed on them, that you can uh, kind of maybe run away for the most part. But I usually just skip the dolphin step. If you love dolphins and you want to have dolphins to breed or whatever, you know, you just you're into it. You can definitely tame up some of these guys or passive tames if you just put kibble in your last slot. I'm about to drown. Let's get some air. Get a little air, get a little air, get a little air. All right, if you just get some kibble in your last slot and you swim up to them, you can just boom, E, feed them and tame them like that. They're very, very simple. You just find them in spots like this and they usually swim up to you. They're, they're very easy to tame, but they're essentially worthless in my opinion. So I usually skip the dolphin step and I go right to Megalodons. They're actually pretty uh, solid fighters. They're pretty tanky. They can take some hits. Uh, what are these guys over here? Now, this right here is a bad spot to try to tame a Megalodon. See how it's uh, shallow and then really, really deep? This would be a, like a tough spot to try to get one. So I'm not going to try to tame one right here. I'm going to go try to find a spot where the beach kind of levels out slowly out to the deep water. And that'll make my life a lot easier. And again, try to be smart using the land. So like if I could get one close to here... This would be really great if there was one like right over here. I could kind of lure him into the into the bay. Use that. Try to use the land to your advantage. Um, you know, be work smart, not hard. But I'm gonna fly around a little bit. I'm actually gonna check this drop over here. What are you guy? So as you can see, as you're flying around, you can see the megalodons in the water. So this is how you find your target without having to uh, swim around all over the place and be scuba diving. Most dangerous thing in the entire ocean, right there. Jellyfish. Avoid those at all costs. They'll knock you off your mount. They'll chain stun you forever and murder you and your mount, and it's the worst. So, I'm gonna check this drop. I said I'm gonna check this drop. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check this drop. Oh my god! It's the greatest drop of all time. Refining forge blueprint and a primitive galley saddle. Those are super great. Those are gonna go right into my vault. Save those. Okay. 
I'm gonna uh, look around for some Megalodons that are worth giving a try. See, like this spot right here would be actually a pretty good spot to try to tame them. Because you can lure them up here on the beach, maybe slap a behemoth gate behind them and they're kind of trapped. But uh, I'm gonna look around for a Megalodon that is worth taming. And we'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, I think we found our target. We've got a guy swimming here. Uh, 156, that'll be a good starter guy. Help us get going. Um, not in the greatest of spots, but pretty okay. I'm hoping that I can lure him up here and maybe get him uh, stuck on some gates. Because, uh, like I said, you can shoot him a lot from the land, and it's pretty great. You can keep pulling him in, keep shooting him, keep pulling him in, and keep shooting him. Uh, but eventually, he's going to get torpored out and try to run. And that's when the trouble comes in. But I'm going to try to show you guys the whole process of uh, taming him right here. As you can see, I haven't even started yet. So we're going to try to pull him up here trap him behind some gates and then call her a day it's gonna be easy easy peasy cheesy squeezy oh 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 when you look on the beat back on the beach and there's an alpha raptor right here Ooh, <laughs> nope, let's take care of this guy before go turtle it's you and me it's you and me versus the alpha guy let's do this yeah so I'll just throw on my air brakes. If you didn't know, if you hold X while you're on an RG, if you're on PC, that is, you can stay in one spot and kind of hover and smack. So I'm just going to like hover and smack this guy. Come on, guy. Maybe he'll drop us a better crossbow for our mission today. That would be great. Come on. Oh, he's close. Come on. Die, fool. There we go. Let's go. Ooh, Ascendant Metal pick. Let's go. All right. Let's check this out. What do we get? What do we get? We... Uh, oh, it's in your inventory. Send a metal pick. Let's go. Pick upgrade. That's pretty cool, actually. And another train arrow. Not too bad. Uh, we're going to put some more points into his damage. And since now I don't want you to get killed, perfect Chergy, we're going to have you follow us. We're going to change your follow distance uh, to low. All right. So now let's see if this is the shark still here. He's probably left now. So that's how video recording works. Um, is that you over there? Are you the one? No, you're a six. Oh, you're the one now. Aha. Okay. So now we're going to make sure we have oxygen. Always make sure you keep an eye on your oxygen. We're going to try to hit this guy and lure him this way. And remember, uh, when you shoot arrows in the water, they have a pretty significant drop. So you're going to, all right, maybe the RG on low was a bad idea. Come here, guy. Okay, the shark is swimming the wrong direction. What on earth? Okay. Behavior. No. No, it's all gone wrong. Be behavior change to medium. Okay, stop following me so close. Like, like, what? Guy, please, you're supposed to... You're supposed to get upset with me. I just shot you. Hello? Hello, guy? Yo, yo, giant fish guy. Yeah, you, over here. Hey. Guy! Oh, I'm drowning. Drowning, 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 drowning bad, drowning bad, drowning bad. Okay, we're good. He's gonna see me and get real upset, and then it's all gonna be terrible. There he goes. Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Woo. Here he comes. So I'm going to try to slap a gate down behind him. Except the charge is in the way. I'm drowning. It's all going wrong. Oh, that was close. Okay. If we can just get him back. Come here, guy. We're going to get some stam. We're going to get eaten by something else. What's wrong? Oh, it's piranha. There's piranha. What is Ocean piranha. Come on, game. You're making me look bad. Where you at? Come back, you ocean piranha. You want some of me? Come here. Okay, nice. Where? Like, this is the least aggressive shark of all time. Can we maybe... We'll, we'll, do, we'll do, like, a smart thing here. Let's see. We, we got him to swim up to this point. So we should be able to, theoretically, kind of trap him right here. If we can just get him to come this way. So come on, guy. Oh, we're drowning. We're drowning again. Doors are opening. 
Hey, shark guy. Hey, you with the fin. Yeah, you. Hey. Oh, what's eating me now? Oh, God. It's ocean piranha again. Come back. Come here, man. Oh, dude, come on. Don't go that far. Get back here. Oh, we hit him. All right, come this way, please. Where are you at? Get over here. Come here. Oh, God. All right, the ocean piranha are on us, and the shark is on us, too. All right, this is... This is all good and bad at the same time. No, no. Come here. Come here. Not you. Come here. Shark guy, please. What are you doing? Hey. Come here. There we go. Boom. Shark trap. Let's go. No, oh, don't open door. All right. Now we have, we have a small problem is that we have the doors on automatic. That's a slight issue. All right. You stay here. We go to behavior. And hi. Stop following me. And now we're just going to sit here and knock the dude out. Boom. Easy. Super easy shark trap. Shark trap. Hoo ha ha. Um, now something you do want to pay attention to is sometimes it's a little bit tough to notice when ocean, ocean creatures fall asleep. So you want to pay, pay really close attention. And if you have auto gates like uh, we do, you want to be careful. Not If I go near that door, it's going to open and he's going to escape. So I don't want to go anywhere near him. I want to just take my time here. Make sure I don't drown. Make sure I don't go near the gate so he gets out. And we should be in business here. Let's go. They kind of do like this little bit of a hunch over thing, but it's very slight sometimes. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I'm drowning. Keep an eye on your oxygen. Don't drown. I think he is running. I'm going to take it easy here. Watch for the... Oh, it, I think he just, might have just went out. Yeah, see? See how like slight the difference is between when he was awake and when he's just knocked out? Very, very slight difference. I'm glad I caught that and didn't shoot. I don't think I shot him any extra times. Um, and we're going to, now that we have a chance, put these gates on uh, manual so they don't open and let things in here. We're going to, oh, my kibble's in my last slot. Throw some kibble on this guy. Bam! Get kibbled. And it's a Megalodon tame. Let's go. I'm drowning. Oh, no. All right. We're going to hang out with this guy until he tames up, and we'll be right back. And it's up! It's up! It's up! Ah, ah. Oh, God, that was terrifying, actually. <laughs> she come up behind me. Oh, God. It's the cheese shark. It's the shark. Let's go. We out here. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So, uh, super great. I actually didn't hit an extra time. Give me my kibble, you pig. It came out at a perfect 233. Super amazing. We're going to throw it into a cryopod. Get cryopodded. And nice. We're going to pick up our trap like responsible server members. Yeah. Maybe. Hello? Game? There we go. Like I said, we're going to pick up our trap. Oh, God. Is the, is the hell penguin coming for me? Please, no hell penguin. Leave me alone. Okay. We're gonna run. We're gonna run. This uh, itchy ornus has been messing with me. Let's go. Perfect. Well, not not perfect, perfect, but perfect 156 team. Shark in the bag on our way back to the base. And we'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, guys, we've made it successfully back to base. But before we can go test drive our shark, we have to do a couple things. So we're gonna go into our Ingrams. We're going to look for Megalodon, Megalodon saddle, saddle, level 47, made with cementing paste, fiber, hide. We got that. No worries. We're going to go to Scuba. Now, Scuba is level 81. Uh, you're definitely going to need the Scuba tanks, 100%. Uh, scuba masks are actually, I, I'm not even sure if they're worth using. If you have a gas mask, you want to use that instead, and I'll show you why. Uh, and scuba flippers are really helpful. They help you swim much faster in the water than without them. 
Uh, the scuba leggings, I gotta be honest, I don't usually use them. They do provide a huge amount of insulation uh, when you're swimming. Only when you're swimming, though. And uh, they work great if you have to go in the deep north, like in the icy water, if you, it's really cold. But for the most part, you're never really going to need these, especially if you have some fortitude. So I'm not going to bother making those for now. All right. So I've already crafted up a uh, Megalodon saddle. You make that right in your inventory. And I made three scuba tanks, as you can see. Now, I would definitely suggest always having a couple scuba tanks with you, probably like three or four or five. Uh, the durability on them goes down as you use them. So even if you're not taking damage, when you're wearing a scuba tank, it the durability will go down and down and down. And when it breaks, you can no longer breathe underwater and you have to quickly switch to another tank. So definitely make sure you always have extra scuba tanks with you. Uh, we're going to go into armor, scuba. We're going to make one mask. We're going to make a one pair of flippers. And we're going to go give the shark a try. Okay, guys, here we are at the beach. We're going to try out the shark. Uh, first thing I want to show you guys. Oh, this is shallow a lot further than I thought. Is uh, the thing with scuba masks and gas masks. So this is regular vision with nothing on. Actually, I'm going to put on a scuba tank. And now I can swim underwater without drowning. Look at that. It's great. And if, as you can see, this is regular swim speed. Now, if I put on flippers. Yeah, look, I'm zooming around. Let's go. So flippers, uh, scuba tank, definitely, definitely super helpful underwater. Okay. Now, this is regular vision. We'll see what we can see here. Okay. If we switch to a uh, scuba mask. Now, it essentially looks the same. It just puts the kind of scuba outline around the thing, which I don't really enjoy anyway. Uh, but if you go out here into the deeper water, you'll see that it's like still super foggy. You can't really see very well. See, like, look at that. You're not really seeing much, right? Now, if you switch to a gas mask, boom, like clearest water of all time. I don't know why this is a thing. I don't really understand what it is, but for some reason, gas mask is far superior to using a uh, scuba mask or no mask in the water. All right, so we're gonna take our shark out, throw him out here. Boom, we got the shark. We're gonna throw the saddle on him. And let's go, we're riding the shark. Now, as you can see, uh, it's super foggy again. You can't really see very well. But if you go into first person, which on uh, PC is scroll mouse wheel up, boom, then you can see really well again. Oh, it's weird when I'm holding that cryopod though. Gonna put the cryopod away. There we go. There we go. We can see really good. Can't see anything. See really good. Can't see anything. See really good. Um, so yes, definitely if you can get your hands on a gas mask. I don't usually craft them. I usually just wait until I find one in a drop or usually just randomly get them eventually. So 124 damage right out of the gate. This guy's gonna be super amazing for gathering up uh, fish meat, which we need to feed our Pelagornis and to feed the Chotter. So look at that, 260 raw fish right there. Right off the bat, it's going to make uh, a lot of things a lot easier. And it's going to make it where we can venture into the... Uh, so he's got 5,000 health right off the bat. I'm going to pump up some Stam. Um, it's going to make it much safer for us to go in the water because he's going to be able to handle some business. As long as we don't get uh, jellyfished off or, you know, grabbed by a Tuso or something crazy, we should be able to survive pretty well with this guy. Again, we're not going to venture super, super deep. You know, we're not going to go hunting Alpha Tussos with this guy or anything. But for a general uh, starter water mount, pretty super great. And we're going to park him right over here. And right about here. We're going to take off all this super annoying water stuff. Put, no, this. Yep, there. Boom. And that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So if you guys liked this episode or you learned anything today about how to tame a shark and start your adventures in the ocean, please do me a huge favor and flex on that like button. Yeah. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys want to see me play live, you should come check, check me out on Twitch. I stream live on Twitch every single day. Uh, lately, I've been really into Destiny 2, play all sorts of other games, Among Us, and a lot of fun things. You should come check me out at twitch.tv slash royalewithcheesetv. But before we go, we gotta go say goodbye to Murder. 
Yo, murder, what's up, man? I got flippers on. Yo, murder, what's up, man? Hey, murder, what's going on, man? Hey, what's up, man? Uh, not too much. We went out and tamed a shark today. Had some ocean adventures. We're going to start... Hey, nice poop, man. Hey, thanks, man. We're going to start being able to go into the ocean and doing some more fun ocean-type stuff. What's up with you? Hmm, not too much. Hey, why did Chewbacca crash the Millennium Falcon the first time he flew it? Um, I don't know. Why? He made a... Wookiee mistake? Did it? Wookiee mistake? <laughs> Sounds like rookie. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Cheese.